What is a word or a picture board for someone who is not verbal? I have been talking about how people who are nonverbal sometimes communicate with many things like iPad and other systems, which cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. Sometimes you want to say something quick and need something that is lightweight to just grab easily. I use a manual word board when I want to tell a person something quickly, or I am not in my power wheelchair that has my iPad mounted. So what is a manual word board anyway? It is a piece of laminated board that of the alphabet, numbers, and some common words that I use. The sheets of a grid which each box has a letter, a number, or a word. The person who is not verbal points, or looks at a box and the other person has to remember what the person is pointing to. This is very basic form of communication that the person can use. Sometimes I find that it is faster way of communicating especially if the person knows how the nonverbal person talks. What if the person cannot spell or even read words? Would a word board be used? Probably not because a word board would be too difficult to use. So what would the person use then? Well, when I was around four, my parents made me a picture board. The board had pictures instead of letters and words. The picture board might have about ten pictures on it. A picture of a cup would mean that I need a drink. A picture of blocks would mean that I wanted to play. Or a picture of a toilet would mean that I needed to go to the bathroom. The word board or picture board is so easy to make these days with a computer. Sometimes it takes a lot of trials and errors, because the person who is nonverbal might need bigger boxes to point to. The placement of a word or a picture has a huge impact on how well they can use the board. Usually the most frequently used words or pictures often are placed in the middle of the board. If a person uses one of their hands to point, the frequently are placed near the hand that they are using, or the opposite is true, they might point easier if they have to point beyond the middle of their body. I said this before and have to say it again that it is a lot of trials and errors. I can't make a word board or a picture board for someone without knowing the person first. A person can't point with their hands or head. What do they use? Sometimes they use their eyes to point. The board might be a big board, where the middle of the board is opened. The person would hold the board up and look through the middle of the board, and look at the individual's eyes. Where the person is looking at, there might be a group of letters or pictures. The helper will say each letter until the person looks at the person or does something to tell the person that they want the letter or picture. You can see that this process is very basic and time consuming. If you are a parent of a child who is not verbal and want to get some idea of a word or a picture board, just Google Manual Communication Board. There are many images of communication boards to get ideas from. The one thing that I can say is to be creative. There is no one board that will work for everybody. You know your child the best so think outside of the box because you can discover what will work for you. My parents tried many things to help me and some of the things did work, but there were many things that did not work. Did they get frustrated? Absolutely and you will get frustrated too. At Disability Awareness, we try to give useful information to people with disabilities and educate society. If you like this video and aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Here at Disability Awareness, we do two videos per week on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we will see you on Friday. It's Chris signing off.